Hello and welcome to Scent and Sound episode 3, a show where I make music based around my favourite fragrances. Today we have Leather Jardin by Zara. This one is special. This is must be one of my favourite fragrances. It's it's amazing. In kind of the frag world, I don't know if I can say that if I've made three videos, but here we are. Everybody always talks about niche quality fragrances, and I think this definitely falls into that category. It smells it's amazing, I love it. It was Joe Malone who helped design this fragrance and it has top notes of grapefruit, middle note is rose, and the base note is leather. It's following that modern trend of only giving you three notes, but it's it's a classic Sheepra. I don't have that much experience with Sheepras, but I everybody says Sheepra is an old lady thing. <laughs> and I kind of understand it, like throw me back to being in a working men's club with my nan and granddad. I feel like a lot of this was around back then. But we can reclaim it. Reclaim the sheep press. A bit of trivia. I heard that Charlie Chaplin used to wear Mitsuku, which is like the classic famous sheep press. And that was the fragrance that got him all the ladies. And we know in the uh, frag community that it's not about personality. It's not about looks. It's not about talent. Getting the ladies is all about the fragrances you wear. So... Listen up ladies, I'm wearing a cheaper version of a Sheepra, but call me. This fragrance, the, the Sheepra thing gives me, it's very nostalgic. I, the leather is very subtle, but very sweet. The grapefruit, it isn't pokey. It doesn't feel like citrus. And even, it's hard to date or give a season to this fragrance really, because it, uh, to me, it's gorgeous in hot weather, as you can, it's a bit, uh, as you can probably see from my glistening forehead, it's a bit hot today. This fragrance, it's gorgeous in the summer, it just feels, there's a real fashion at the moment for an old money aesthetic. And I would put my, I would put my money on Sheepras being the, the right vibe for that sort of nonchalant, casual, effortless, chic kind of style. So let's give it a whiff. Also, look at this bottle. I think it's amazing. I think they've changed the design recently. And also for 15 pounds, I think it was. It's, it's remarkable, it is really remarkable. But yeah, look at the bottle. Really, this whole package, really, it's really aesthetically coherent and I like that. Let's give it a sniff. Lovely, smooth grapefruit on the top. Sweet, but not too sweet. Sweet, but rounded edges. It reminds me of a, of a, of a peachy sort of thing, but I know it's not peach in the fragrance notes, but there's something about it which tells, gives me peach, because it's not lemon, it's, I know it lists grapefruit and, it just doesn't come across to me like grapefruit. That's so smooth and that leather just very supplely lifting up that fragrance. Oh yeah, just gorgeous, just amazing. I have the mid on the other hand. Less of the sweet top notes and more of that smooth, lovely leather. And I've got the dry down prepared earlier. Yeah, so smooth leather, it's not, the progression is as you think it would be, it's the top note slowly fading into the mids and into the bass and to make one just lovely long experience. It's not really a, um, it's very linear, but I think that's what you would expect, that's what I would want anyway. Jo Malone herself says, from the blue sky of dawn to the amber twilight, in the desert every second is permeated by this beautiful aroma and its stunning presence. Lovely. I've used some of Joe's words to inspire the lyrics for this song, and I, I think this is, I'm really happy with this one. I think I've captured the right vibe for the tune. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you in a minute. From the blue sky Of dawn To the amber twilight Is filled with your 
So, what do you think? Bit of a different vibe, right? I haven't done lyrics in any of the previous tunes, but this one felt like it needed it. You know, it really, that gorgeous piano sound with these wistful, longing lyrics really, it really did it for me. I think that was really what was needed. I had a suggestion of listening to the tune while I was doing the review. So I thought I'd give that a go. So this is all Joe Malone's, inspired by Joe Malone's, a brief. To the amber I had to change it a bit to fit, you know, lit it lyrically. In the desert every second is filled with your presence. So I had to add my own lyrics here, because Joe only gave us one sentence. Nostalgia, really. Yeah, smooth skin, like smooth, warm skin for the nostalgic thing. floral gardens and people in leather robes and this desert feeling kind of gave me that idea of the Nile and in Egypt really but yeah this whole like you know people at the beach women sunbathing that gives this is what this fragrance kind of feels to me you think in talented Mr Ripley sort of that sort of a uh, visual scape is what I get that's what I get Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Scent and Sound. I hope you enjoyed the song. I'll upload it separately again if you want to listen to it on its own and don't want to hear me ramble about fragrances. But thank you for tuning in and I hope you see you next time. Peace. <laughs>